Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're using Dominic, aka Doom, aka the best lava player in the game. We're using his Lava Miner deck, which is actually one of the best lava decks in the game right now. It was number one in the world just yesterday. So we're pushing end season with this deck, trying to get our top 1k finish that I've been working my ass off for this season. Um, hopefully we get it. Um, we're going to just play some games here today hopefully get up to around 2750 put us in good position to get that finish my god my goodness my goodness gracious we are getting some flying machine value here today ladies and gentlemen this was not expected to start off the game i mean 1800 flying machine damage i tried my best to punish him but i wasn't expecting it to be that good anyways that was really good for us now we have to wrap up his lava hound he's gonna lava loon this is not good for us uh, i would have liked to save my phoenix for his balloon probably but sadly that won't happen uh okay uh, looks like we should be able to take only one hit from this. Oh, no. Okay, okay. That was a really good zap from Yoya. He looks like a pretty good player, but he is running a really weird lava deck. A lava loon, fireball, goblin gang minions. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm assuming this is either double minions or eye drag, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to probably go lava hound in the same lane here. Just because... I mean, I mean, I think I can get Skeleton King value with this deck. Like, the only thing he has for my Skelly King is the same thing he has for the... Well, let's see. Let's see here. We're going to go Phoenix first. We're going to go Skelly King as well. And the minions come out. Out comes the Eye Drag. So, the only thing he's going to have to stop my... Uh, my skelly king on future pushes is going to be the inferno dragon so the way we're going to play the rest of this game is we're going to try and get his inferno dragon out so that way i can try and get my skelly king to the tower see the problem with this deck is you are you, there's no balloon like there's no guaranteed way to get the tower damage so you're going to need to play really good defense and be creative with your offense to make sure you can get the best value possible now we're going to go lava he did weird zap there i don't really know what that is maybe he's cycling we're going to go phoenix and flying machine in here trying to um okay he fireballs um this is fine we're just gonna go minor in the back here we're gonna get some good damage and predicting the minions ladies and gentlemen those minions are gone out of here baby we are okay it's actually it's not looking very good but hold on i think we can play pretty good defense here we've got the phoenix i'm gonna apply pressure so that he can't go immediately with the lava hound this is good for us now because he doesn't have a lava counter in hand um he's gonna try and pressure us but we can go with the tombstone high here and we are going to prevent any damage from this uh lava hound we're actually going to arrows as well here it's going to kill all the puppies and now guess what miner coming in skelly drags coming in inferno dragon is out ladies and gentlemen he no longer has a single thing to defend our skelly king with good luck dude good luck the only thing he has is the minions so we're just gonna cycle back to our arrows real fast we're going to pop the ability he just used his barbell he doesn't have anything for this he has a zap but we're gonna arrows the minions and flying machine locks on ladies and gentlemen let's go let's go dude we needed that win so badly and i did get that win let's freaking go baby Whew, good dubs j24 coming in here let's see what this boy is running we're coming off a very solid w here so i'm really hoping that we can add on to this little mini win streak i've got going on actually like five or six games i don't know if it's five or six but i um i started at around 2500 um uh, that was where i was um after that was where I was after tilting on stream, I believe, 25-20 around there. So we're on a nice little win streak. I just decided, hey, let's go ahead and record this push because I got to get my daily video out and... If we're going to have some nice games, I don't want them to go to waste. I'm trying to focus up, play really well, and I, if I'm getting some good games, I don't want them to go to waste. I want to commentate over them. And also, it's going to help me practice my commentating skills over like really intense games because this is the last day of the season. But yeah, Ice Wizard makes me think that this guy is running Graveyard because there's literally no other deck that runs Ice Wizard. Um yeah it's the same thing with skeleton dragons like there's no there's okay maybe it's not skeleton dragons are ran in a bunch of lava decks a bunch i mean like three but the ice wiz is only in one deck i don't think that's healthy 
for the Ice Wiz. I think it's really bad, but I mean, also, it's just kind of overshadowed, outshadowed, or whatever the word is, by the other air counters. So I don't really know how you would go about balancing that. If you guys have any ideas in the comments, let me know, like, if you think that's healthy or not, just having uh, only one deck for, like, the Ice Wizard and stuff like the Skeleton Dragons. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to try and prevent him from getting good graveyard value. He is going to probably go graveyard um, with the, yeah, with the Phoenix. Okay, so this is interesting. We are going to be able to wrap this up with just the arrows here. We do make sure to hit the egg so that the Phoenix doesn't respawn. And it looks like we'll only be taking down to around 3,000 HP. So hopefully we can break through here. Um, <laughs> that's not something that you say against Splash Air because it, like, never happens. But we'll see. Um the phoenix is out i don't know for how much longer and it's no longer out okay and oh i thought we would avoid getting pulled to the king tower there but this is just not good okay now we just have to make sure that we're wrapping up his skelly king and his counter pushes here oh the arrows weren't good i missed the other ice wizard okay we're just gonna have to make sure we wrap up this push here because he is going to try and counter push we're just gonna skelly king on here so that the flying machine is gonna help the tower out against the graveyard let's go phoenix as well just to help out like a little against the graveyard and also to make sure that he is not having any counter pushing on this lane so that's what i like to call insurance before we go in with the push which i am going to go in on the left side we want to make sure we have a card down uh on the other opposite lane so that he can't uh pressure us as easily so here we're going to go skelly dragons to stop the skelly king and we are going to go flying machine in the left lane it's going to target the right lane but this is good for us because now the flying machine is going to go help out on offense so i think he will he was he's going to go take off this ice wizard here and oh he leaves him at one hp what are you doing man okay but at least our phoenix stays alive here we're gonna go minor on his ice whiz hopefully take it out he does tornado so that's annoying but i might be able to get pop an ability here um, we're going to go arrows first just to make sure I can get this Ice Wiz as low as possible. Popping this ability and we might be able to get some good value here. Okay, the skeletons are doing some good damage. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, damn! Okay, we're back in this thing. We're back in this thing. We're going to go Tombstone over here to protect... Oh, a nice little prediction there. He is going to go Poison as well, so we do have to Skelly Drags. And now is a good time to go Lava because he just used his Poison. We're going to go Lava High, try and punish him for um, the minus 2 Elixir trade right there. Flying Machine's coming in. We're going to try and tank for this Phoenix with the Skelly King. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. It sadly doesn't work. Um, but here we've got a Phoenix coming in. We've got a Miner coming in. And I'm also going to Arrow to so try and get this... Uh, ice wizard and this egg out of here and we get the ice wizard out of here that's very good so the skelly king is also gone the flying machine locked on to the ice wizard hold on does the flying machine stay alive no but his phoenix is dead Woo! that was a wasted phoenix we might be able to break through here miner's gonna come in and we're gonna try and get some chip damage here the lava hound is tanking for the miner for the most part so we can get some big damage ladies and gentlemen we're gonna drop him below 2,000 arrows as well here we want to get the ice Wizard low the ice Wizard is out Flying Machine is not going to lock, but it does take out the Phoenix. Sadly, this is going to be very tricky here. Um, I'm going to go... There's only 10 seconds left. Pop the ability. Just stall a little bit. We got to go Tombstone over here. We got to try and stop this this graveyard. I'm just going to go Arrows on this tower. No way he gets enough. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Dude. Dude, the Arrows were so clutch. If we didn't Arrows that, we would have lost, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude, dude, what a dub. Oh my gosh, dude, I, do you know, I've never beaten Splash Yard with this deck, bro. Wow, bro. Okay, okay, we're got, we got this Asian guy coming up here, dude. Oh my God, bro, there's no way we just won that, bro. Oh, now we just gotta, we gotta carry this momentum into the next game. Uh, we got to make sure we can get this big W coming in here. Miner's going to come in first play. Uh, it is a Lumberjack, so that could be Gollum Pump or Lumber Loon. That's what I think off the bat. Flying Machine's going to come in to try and stop this Lumberjack. And uh, we are going to get some good damage on the Lumberjack. And also, he has a Flying Machine. Lumberjack Flying Machine. I'm not sure. Oh, crap. Low power mode. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, we're fine, though. We'll be fine. Skelly... Oh, 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 it's Lava Clone. It's Lava Clone. Okay. Okay, this is interesting here. Um, 
Hmm, actually, actually, he's he doesn't have a good way to deal with this Skelly King, does he? Like, if I just go ahead and arrows the bats right here, and then we pop this ability, he doesn't have a really good way of dealing with it, does he? Oh, wait. Bro, the Lumberjack deals death damage, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. I forgot! I forgot that Lumberjack just eradicates all the skeletons, bro. Okay, so that was kind of a waste there. That's too bad. But, I mean, we still, we're still going to get some nice value. Um, since we kind of forced out all of the cards he really wanted to, like, play behind his lava. So I feel like that's good for us. He's going to go lava here, and we are just going to... Um, I think we could just try and defend this, honestly. I'll go with Flying Machine first. Uh, we'll try and get Phoenix on, like, something that he puts behind the lava. I don't want to go Phoenix first, because then he can Baby Dragon or... Um, do the the flying machine but here we're just wanting to protect the flying machine for as long as possible so we can dps this uh hound down and then we can try and uh, deal some good damage and pretty much just take as minimal damage as possible here given the hand that we had so i think that was good uh we do get taken down to 2169 but this is going to be fine we're going to try and go opposite lane as him because i can't push into his lava like like uh kind of like in the other matchup um i forgot what it was we can't we, we can't go same lane as him we want to go opposite lane the, the matchup against yuya we want to be careful in this matchup we're going to try and go opposite lane here in the other matchup we tried to get skelly king ability but i think this here is just good for us because he's not going to be able to take out the phoenix so we basically just tower trade here i'm going to go drags in the back here just to make sure we don't get three crown the phoenix is going to help out against his baby dragon sadly it looks like we lose one of the drags so that's unfortunate but basically a tower trade there is perfectly acceptable because we were down damage and now we're actually up damage with that tower trade so the lava hound's coming in here um i think it's a good opportunity to go lava hound because he doesn't really have any any um any elixir on the board he doesn't have anything to punish us with so he can go with the lava of his own but this is going to be fine we're going to go skelly king we're actually going to try and just prevent him from doing anything um just so we can stall and uh see the fireball comes out there so now we can just go arrows wrap up pretty much his entire push and then go phoenix so the flying machine on offense baited out the fireball so that our skeleton dragons could actually wrap up his whole push and here um we're gonna go skelly king in the pocket because it's it's you know how is he gonna stop Stop it. He's not going to have a fun time stopping it, especially when we pop this ability. Um, the Lumberjack does deal death damage, but here we're going to take out the Flying Machine. He has nothing on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, he has to get rid of the Phoenix Egg and the Flying Machine. It's going to take him down all the way to 209 HP. We're going to plop a Tombstone down real fast just to make sure nothing crazy happens. And we are just going to go Lava Arrows and win the game, ladies and gentlemen. What a dub, dude. I'm playing so good right now, bro. I'm playing so good. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Beating Lava Clone as well. Okay. One more game for 2700, and this will be probably the end of the video because we did have some long matches here. Um, hopefully, we can get a good solid dub here. That's my goal. Um, honestly, I think this is going to be really tough um, for like. It's going to be really tough for me to push to top 1k. I'm going to need another 250 trophies in the next three hours, and I really don't think I'm going to get it, but I, I'm going to try my absolute hardest, ladies and gentlemen. So, Golden Knight Ice Wizard? Honestly, I have no clue what this is. What? Golden Knight Ice Wizard? I mean, it could be it could be E-Giant, I guess. Wow. It could be Graveyard, too, but that, that was super aggressive. Like, here I'm just going to go Phoenix. I might just plop a lava in front of this Phoenix. Like, honestly, you just used your Ice Wiz, your NATO, and your Phoenix, and he's got to be down Elixir. Like, this is a good play from us. He's got to be down Elixir. He's going to use a Barb Barrel and fail to pull the Phoenix to the other lane. He's going to Golden Knight. We're just going to go Skelly Drags because now the Skelly Drags will defend the Golden Knight and turn into offense. We're going to go Miner here to take out this Ice Wizard. And he goes Poison, so I think this is going to be a Graveyard deck. But still, look at the Phoenix. He's going to break through. And he's going to fail to activate his King Tower, too. He's going to be down a whole tower. Dude, this is a good way to start this game, bro. Wow, we're up a whole tower just because he overcommitted. And that's what I mean. It's hard to get damage with this deck, like just straight up sacking and attacking. So that's why it's different from Classic Lava. But other than that, if you can like punish him for, for making plays and stuff, he gave up. 
He gave up, though. We're just going to get a free 2700. Bro, if you could punish him for doing stuff like the Ice Wiz and the Phoenix and the NATO, like you saw me do, bro, you can get so much easy value on offense with the Flying Machine, the Phoenix. Bro, that's going to be that's gonna be it for the video. We're going to get to 2700. I'm going to push on the rest off camera because I just need to focus up, ladies and gentlemen. But I hope you enjoyed that video. We got some solid dubs with Doom's deck. And hopefully, wish me luck for the end season and have a great rest of your day.